Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews. I am here on location in Austin, Texas at Heritage Boot. We're gonna go in, we're gonna chat with the boot mavens, hopefully try on some boots and see what this place is all about. It's on, here we go. It's on. Hey, Nick from Lone Star Boot Review. Hey. I'm Kimber, really nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Welcome to Heritage Boot. Thank you. We're it's so excited. Here. Yeah, we're so yeah. excited you chose to do this for us. We couldn't be more elated and we're, we want to tell you all about our boots, give you a chance to try some on, okay. see how they fit. Yeah, sounds so, great. Um, I'm going to treat you as if you've never heard of us before and you walked in that door. Okay. Good so, deal. great. So, our boots are fully handmade. Okay. They are our own brand, our own design. Okay. Um, they're vintage 1930s to 1960s. We're even pushing the 1970s, right? Ali is over there. Um, pushing the 1970s with a few of our designs as well. Okay. So, that defines our heel heights, our toe shapes, mm -hmm. the inlays, the tw hand tooled boots. So, I'm going to show you a little bit of everything that we do and what makes us different and I'm not gonna say better because there's a boot store for everybody right. but but makes us stand out to our customers who really like that true truly traditional vintage inspired cowboy boot. Sounds good. Okay so first of all let's talk about heel heights. Okay. We have a walking heel. Okay. Everybody talks about a roper heel. A roper heel is mm -hmm. more modern mm -hmm. so but ours is a traditional walking heel which would be one and three quarter inches. Okay. So we do it a, a lot of our men's boots do have the walking heel. Okay. Our women's boots we tend to do a cowboy heel and a riding heel. That heel would look more in like our fancy boots, something yeah. just like here in our red. Right. This is wonderful. It's the first time we went into a red boot for men. It's pretty exciting. That is a nice looking Isn't boot. it a great, very yeah. vintage with the gold stitching? Yeah, and I like how Love it's kind it. of a matte finish on it. Yeah, and Allie chose this wonderful piping here on yeah. the side that pops Looks in. Great. Yeah, it's great. So this is what we call cowboy heel. Mm -hmm. Every boot company calls their heels and toes different. And yeah. so people will come in and say, do you have a J toe? We're just going to have to explain that's not our, what we call our toes so we probably don't but this is our snip toe and french toe right this is our snip toe boot right here and this is a two and a quarter heel with the cowboy heel so the difference right. in that is the difference in the two heels half an inch yeah that's a lot now yes. your snip toe is that like a one inch Yes. Toe box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there's a different snip toes. Um, some of them oh, yeah. I call it, you know, because I'm older. I remember the dingo toe. Mm -hmm. Dingo toe would be like two and a quarter, two and yeah. a half inch toe. Mm -hmm. So this is our snip toe. Okay. So this is again, like I said, our red. This is a new design for us, very vintage. Okay. But now let's just go into kind of what makes us stand out because we have well, our skins are all grade A and drum dyed, so that means the leathers are dyed all the way through. So a delicate cream polish. For, for the initial times of polishing is good enough because what it does is brings the color out right. from the underbelly of the boot. Mm -hmm. The colored polishes are something that you can use later on to to m give the color more depth. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to show you our exotic skins that we do. Ours are all food industry source. Okay. So we choose from those exotics, which leaves us with a stingray, which is fabulous. We have the black stingray, um, which looks like this. And we do, a lot of people like the stingray without the, what do they call the eye, but it's the backbone on it. We do, for the most part, choose okay. to have that um, the backbone stand out okay. right there. This is a snip toasting ray boot. Um, we're also going to do a shade navy coming up without the without the um, highlighted backbone okay. and some other colors, a pearl color, a brown color. We're looking at doing some others. Okay. So we do stingray. We do shark skin which is becoming, we call it the ethical elephant. Okay. Right, because you know where it comes from. It's bull yeah. shark, they're in plentiful supply. They use them for meat. We do French toe and snip toe in the shark. Okay. So this would be a French toe black shark. Mm -hmm. That's great looking. It's great looking. So I'm gonna show you something too that's a little bit different. So here's the French toe black and let me grab it's i'm gonna grab our fancy shark i really like how your french toe is a little narrower than a lot of other people's french toe it's nice right yeah it looks nice looks classy and it's a little different you know i'm always yes. looking for something different you know i mean how many brown cow had medium round toe boots can you own you know what i mean oh that's so true we had a guy that was a former navy guy here yesterday and, and he was like i have all toe shapes but i don't have that when he was talking about our french yeah toe. it's awesome yeah so on the black shark we choose to do the dyed welt which um the welt is the sign mm -hmm. of a handmade boot but on a lot of boots like this chocolate brown fancy shark mm -hmm. that we do with our really vintage this is exact this is yeah. what we do really well is the yeah. inlays 
So this is one of our special order limited edition shark skin boots that we do. Okay. This is where we really um, separate ourselves from the others because a lot of companies do, you know, um, exotic skins. Mm -hmm. However, they do the upper with just stitch patterns. Not basic, but they can get fancy in the stitch right. patterns. We choose to do some fancy inlays and this is one of our yeah. best. This is called the Cactus Shark. That's yeah. got the natural welt. That's great. Here, I'll trade you so okay. you can have a look at that and talk about it if you'd like. Look at the craftsmanship on this. It's just fantastic. I love this boot. I think, you know, when I was looking online at all your different models, this is the one that st stood out to me the most, I think. This and some of the tooled boots that you do. Yeah, and notice the barbed wire on the top. I call oh, it yeah. the first um, disruptive technology. Okay. Allie has more information. How many patents? Uh, I can't remember the number, but it's the most patented item in the world, barbed wire. Oh, yeah. So there are so many patents for it that it literally took the patent office when the patent office first opened ages to go through them all because wow. every twist and turn has a mm -hmm. unique patent for it, which yeah. is, you know, interesting. I also think that this is one of my favorite boots because normally somebody would get something custom. They'd have to wait three years, yeah. you know, like they'd go through the long process. You can walk in our store and walk out with something that most people have to wait ages for. Sure. So it's kind of fun and nice and yeah. special, you know, like yeah. when you're looking for that treat. Yeah, for sure. And um, this also represented the end of the cowboy because it put a lot of cowboys out of work. Yeah. Because <laughs> it held the cattle in without yeah. having this many cowboys. So this is a great one. Also, the snake bite, I just, since we're doing showing our fancy sharks, there's one in a size 12 and a 10 and a half as well. This boot is another thing that we do with shark. This is one of our, and we oh, wow. never did it for women until what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. We've done one run for women. It looks great on women too. This is a classic heritage design. That's this awesome. is also, it's a stunner. If someone walks in the, yeah. the door, like there's certain boots that we know that we, we don't sell as often. But they're a boot that, that gets the person in the door that goes, oh my God, look at this boot. And yeah. then you say, show them this boot and then it, it opens the door for us to just go, but we do have a classic shark boot if, if this isn't what you want. Right. And this really opens the door for a lot of sales yeah. on this one. This one has the, uh, the cowboy heel. And what's great, so this is a one piece upper, a landscape upper. Okay. So a lot of landscape uppers, you, you bring it together in the back. Mm -hmm. This one's brought together on the inside seam and hand braided. Oh wow, that's great. And that's a padded snake, so it has a, th a three dimensions. You to see it. the seam here. What's, what's it padded with? Cotton. Fiber. And then cotton fiber. The snake on the other side, and it is. It's padded. It's feels almost like memory foam in there. That is so cool. So the cool thing about, in my opinion, the the tops like that, they're a little fuller too. Yes. Um, so it really does lead to people going, what's under your jeans? You know, yeah. what are you wearing? You, yeah. know, you kind of see it a little bit more with that padding as well. Right, right. And, uh, you get to show off tops. Yeah. Yes, and people find it humorous when we men say, but nobody's gonna see it. And we say men's lingerie. People find that very humorous because <laughs> it's great, yeah. So what, why would a man get a fancy boot? The same reason a woman would wear fancy lingerie. Right, absolutely. And spend a lot of money for yeah. it, <laughs> by the way. And then we have our regular black shark snip toe you saw the french toe the snip mm -hmm. toe and the black and brown shark they have a little bit more color on the upper mm -hmm. the person that wears a snip toe has a tendency to have a little bit not be flamboyant but have a little more flamboyance in their style choices sure. so it has the red piping on the yeah. side and goes like that i love the stitching on there <clears throat> yeah do we have any rough water snip toes i think they're sold out yeah we've sold out of this wonderful brown shark that we make with the rough out upper i'm, I'm going to show you the french toe So this is a new shark, Nick. We, that design is our classic shark design. We've been doing it for years. So this is something Allie and I just created in the past year. Okay. This is the French toe with the rough out. Wow. And the rough out piping on the side. And yeah. the snip toe has that same. It does come with the natural. Well, there's a it's snip kind toe of a combo well. of our favorites. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, I like the rough out piping. That's cool. If it's nice, right? Seen, yeah. And this, is a, this Phoenix pattern is a really classic stitch pattern yeah. that we're known for. Also very acne with the heart. You yeah, see here, so even the piping is done in rough out, <laughs> which is really cool. And a nice stitch pattern on the rough out tops as well. 
So moving on to the other exotics that we carry, um, and one with the fancy top, let's go to crocodile. Okay. So we don't care. We carry the uh, Cayman crocodile. Mm -hmm. Is what we do. We do it in black and brown. We do have a cognac color coming as well, and there's possibly a peanut brittle color. We're just we're right now investigating other colors, but what we're really known for is our, I think this deep brown that we carry, our drum dyed Cayman crocodile. Mm -hmm. It's it's exquisite. We do it in women's zipper boots. We do it in women's tall boots. We can show one of the Jolies and Browns, one of our top sellers. Yeah. But what makes us again stand out is here's a Cayman crocodile with a hand tooled yeah. upper and braid on the side. Yeah. This is a walking so heel nice. boot. And this goes into our, what you call a pee wee wee, which we could find a better name for men, but <laughs> it is just the name because it came out during the depression when they were rationing leather. Okay. So it is an authentic cowboy boot. It wasn't done you know, for cute purposes right. or style purposes. It was actually, everything on the boot, as you know, is a functioning mm -hmm. piece of the boot. So this is our, it's called our Billy the Croc. We also do it in Ostrich, Billy the Kid. I'll show you that one right. while you have a look at this. Yeah. The cool thing about our exotics as well, particularly with crocodile and thing like that, each one is hand matched to the right and the left. So we will hand match those okay. patterns and things like that. When you're making a mass produced boot, yeah. you don't get that right. like kind of <laughs> attention to detail right. sometimes. Uh, so you can see that these will have similar characteristics, yeah. which is really fun and really cool. So yeah, it's always I nice. Agree. I always say, that's Jim, this is John. <laughs> <laughs> and we also do so the crocodile in a very simple upper with the French toe. Okay. That's the brown. The black, it has a dyed welt. So it looks like this in the French toe. The, in the French toes, we tend, it's a more conservative oh, yeah. look. So we tend to choose the conservative option, which would be the dyed well yeah. on the black. That would look great with a suit. <laughs> it looks amazing. That's our top, these are our two top selling suit boots. The quality of the hide is just fantastic on these boots. There's the heel, simple upper with a nice stitch pattern. Same on this one in the black. For a formal occasion, these would look just outstanding. Yep, the crocodile is the, the easy go-to, great wedding boot. Mm -hmm. And then for those that want to do the crocodile and like a little bit more dash, yeah, the snip toe. The snip toe. And so we do the natural weld on both of them. Okay. So same boot, the same upper on our crocodiles with both the snip and the French toe. But this is the the simple, regular height walking heel. All our crocodiles. Um, that we have in store all walking ants. Okay. And um, right, currently all our ostrich are. So for men. Right. So we stick to the walking heels. Um, the fancier ones like the shark uh, with the snake bite, that one is done in the cowboy heel, but the cactus shark, which we do in both toes. So mm -hmm. while we're finishing up on the exotics, I want to make sure this is the cactus shark with the snip toe. Okay. So we do it in both toes. Yeah. Both toe yeah, shapes. Yes. Yeah, so now, um, last but not least of the exotics is your favorite. The ostrich. Yeah. So here is Billy the Kid, which is the yeah. ostrich bottom. So that's that peewee version mm -hmm. of the tool top walking heel snip toe boot. So this is a peewee, and I have to say, it's not as short as what I thought it was looking at them online. It's about 10 inches, which is like a roper. So all you men out there, you don't have to be scared of them. So, and um, in honor of you being here today. Yes. We know that you love ostrich. I do love We'd love ostrich. for you to try a pair of our French toe, and you like the French toe. We'd love for you mm -hmm. to try a pair on and see how you like oh, them. Yeah, absolutely. Just one pair? Yeah. Well, you can try on a lot of pairs. <laughs> well, one pair of the ostrich, but then we're going to put you, for fun, into okay. our hand-tooled boots. Okay, cool. Because we've got quite the variety of those. How's that feel? Awesome. That is a perfect fit. It's a good looking boot. Yeah, so again, our great. ostrich is grade A leathers, drum dye. What we love about the brown ostrich, and we love the black ostrich because I think the black ostrich is really cool and subtle. But the brown ostrich, when you've got the quills and the dark brown, you've got our, it's at the mahogany stained heel that this one has. So we've got all these browns working together to give it so many different tones that gives it uh, even more character than it already has. But also the ostrich is the lycra pant of cowboy boots as we like to call it. Just an extra layer of skin for your foot. Yeah, and these just look great. And they fit fantastic. They look really good, you can see here, with this jean I'm wearing. 
These are just Wrangler cowboy cut, but they look really good. That's something that uh, we pay attention to is the trends with denim and jeans. So we try to, we, because we're not using stock tops, uh -huh. the tops are made for every size. So they vary size width for the top for every size because you have to get your whole foot through that. Right, shape. right. So it's a little more slender than some of the other bulky mm -hmm. tops out there. You're not going to be flopping around in them. Yeah, and that's one thing I, I had skinny calves. And so when the tops are too big, your jeans like, fall down. You feel like your dad can yeah. laugh inside yeah. of it. Yeah, it doesn't look good and it's also uncomfortable in my opinion. How do you store your boots at home? Yeah. Do you put anything in them? Uh, my exotics, I'll put boot trees in them and then I have, I don't know if you've seen them online, but um, they're called boot, boot shapers and it's... I've seen it just recently. I didn't know what it was. Okay, so... You know who um, has Lisa and Walt? I wish I'd have brought some with me, but it's it's plastic, right? right? And you roll it up and put it in the shaft, and then it expands and it keeps them from sagging. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. Well, well, kind of like we do here with the the paper. The paper. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's just a, but it's a stiff, little more rigid, you know, right. plastic. And um, I don't know. They work great. There's some cheaper options out there but i think they work the best well now we're gonna have some fun because okay. i know we've gone conservative we yeah. showed you some fancy okay. but we want you to have some fun trying on because our tooled boots and the, and maybe even our mojave peewee let's get our peewee. anyways yeah we're yeah. gonna get you in the mo oh, well first okay. of all we're gonna get you in our bandito peewee okay. so we're gonna start with peewees and move up we're gonna start with a tooled peewee and an inlay peewee go from the bottom up right from the bottom up so these um these have a tendency to run large, but we are putting you still in the same size, which is a ten and a half. Okay. Might need to size you down, so that's how our boots do work. Our French toes usually fit two or the size where our snip toes, some people, not everybody, size down. And that's one of the reasons why we don't sell our boots online. Do you want me here? Let me no. Hey, oh, look at that. He got them off. We're supposed to help them. <laughs> I I was remiss on my duties. Well, they fit like a glove. Normally, I don't have that hard a time getting boots off, but they fit so well. That's nice. So, uh, with a Pee Wee 2, what we find that it, if, if someone comes and they, one, have they a, a thicker leg, it's a great option for a thicker mm -hmm. leg, a high end step, which until I started working in boots, I didn't realize that there are some people that cannot get in. Right. So, the Pee Wee works for the thicker leg, most higher end steps, and a wider foot. They just fit wider. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell mm -hmm. yes. that it's much wider. We And the hand-tooled boots are so easy to care for. So <clears throat> just like the saddles that you have some saddles that are 200 years old, uh -huh. seriously, in museums and stuff that have been lotioned and taken care of because they are saddle quality leather. It has to be a thicker leather to survive the tooling. So with this hand-tooled boot that you're wearing, it's called the Bandito. It's got the walking heel, so that's the one and three quarter inch heel. Very with this hand tooled boot yeah it's an overlay so what that is is a black boot made and then they do the hand tooling they cut out the hand tooling and they overlay it on the black boot yeah those look those look great that looks for my foot that's the best looking snip toe i've ever tried ah we love that and how do you feel and how's it feel that's right how's and that peewee pee feel it um it feels shorter you know but right. not you know after wearing it for probably 10 minutes i probably wouldn't even notice it right it's just getting it out of your yeah. head that you've got a shorter yeah time. and it also like i said my jeans aren't falling down inside it normally i like you know like a 13 inch top right right just because my calves are so skinny that it helps keep my right. jeans looking right but these i'm not really having that problem that's great so, you're gonna hit my car <laughs> Oh wow, we have a we have a parking issue. No, here we go. Okay. So now I'm gonna step you way out of your comfort zone because I want to show you how elaborate we can go with the hand okay. But let me help you get these All off. Right. Um, and it'll be fun because this is this is an old design that we just brought back, and some of our customers that have many pairs of our boots, they got these in and they said, "This is our favorite boot that we've ever ordered. It's called the San Miguel." Yeah. It's got a walking heel as well, but this goes. Super fancy. Yeah, we have it for is. men and for women. Both all, all our hand tooled boots we um, cross over, both men, female and male. And there you go. So this one's a San Miguel. Again, it's got the walking heel. We love the red braid on the side. That red really shows off the intricacies of the braid. 
Yeah. And the boot pulls are fabulous on this that. This looks amazing. You get that satisfying, like, fit noise. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Did you ever think you'd like that? Those look great. Don't they look great? Yeah. It's one of those, so it got, a, a lot of times we make sure that the guy, if they come in shorts, because this is Austin, we have a lot of guys coming in in shorts. We make sure to drape the jeans over it so they can see that that whole lot of fancy on the upper is, again, men's lingerie, your yeah. little secret that you know it's there, nobody else needs to know. Yeah. So you've got just this fabulous look that's not over the top, it's just a statement. It says, hello, I am Nick. Yeah. And I love cowboy boots. Fantastic. <laughs> I had a little bit of coffee today. <laughs> okay, one more tool boot. This okay. is one of our classic designs. It's the floors. We do it for men and for women, just like all the others. This one okay. also has the walking heel on it, fully uh, side braid. This is a fully hand tool boot, just like the San Miguel, where the bandita was the overlay. Uh -huh. This one is all tool. Starts out stiffer, but you can't beat this up really easy to care for all the hand tooled boots are because with that san miguel you're just gonna use delicate cream polish it's gonna pop the color back in right. with the with the brown and black ones believe it or not you take a t-shirt get a little black cr shoe cream put it on wherever it's lightened up on the heel and toe and then you take a t-shirt and just rub it like that it puts the warmth back in the brown and it deepens the black back right. really easy to care for leather lotion is your friend with this and again this is called our floors now do you guys recommend a certain brand of Leather care products? Well, we, we do a mixed bag. Yeah, Cadillac um, Lotion and Kelly's Cream. Okay. Um, Kelly's is carried by Feebings, so Feebings is also a, a, a great brand. Uh, but there's, what's great is the Kelly's colors, they have a color chart mm -hmm. online. Yeah, you can pretty much get any color in the Kelly line. Okay. Uh, the reason we use those, there's very little oil. There's very little silicon, lanolin in these products. And with a drum dyed base, you really need very little of that. And it looks like jello pudding when you open it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for conditioners, I talk about it a lot, that Big Four is kind of the go-to gold standard. But there's so many other conditioners out there, in my opinion, that work great. The, the best one is the one you're going to actually use. Yeah, yes. I agree. As long as it doesn't have silicone and wax in it because it clogs right. the pores. A lot, and so something to note is these all natural ones, because we have a lot of brands sending us the all natural ones, they're made with beeswax. So as great as it sounds to use an all natural, yeah. it's not really good because it's going to clog the pores of your boots. And people say, aren't the boots hot? Well, they're not hot unless you clog the pores. Right. It's like your skin. You don't want it clogged. Okay, so we've just done... A brief tour of our tooled boots. We do have another one that we just came out with that we, that's selling like hotcakes. It's called the Tatanka. We've actually lightened. I'll show you what the the next group of them is going to look like because we do them for men and women. This is a new one. This is one that we do with the cowboy heel. Okay. It's a triad construction. So yeah. what that is is it doesn't have the four pieces. Right. So it, ha it also lengthens the leg. For the women, it's a great look. It has a whole completely different profile. If you notice the profile on that versus mm -hmm. the profile on this, there's, very, there's a lot of uh, geometric shapes that come in the profile as well as just this cool two-tone look. This is the women's version. The men's version will be this light next time. Okay. So you notice we have different colors that you can stain the hand-tooled leather. Yeah. So there's just two examples yeah. that we have. So this, this is great. a very popular tool boot that we make. We also do, this is one of our classic styles. It's called the Vaquero. Okay. We have this one coming in a, a chocolate, chocolate and honey. A chocolate and honey. And we also have this one coming in a chocolate and, and honey color. Okay. Sweet, awesome. it'll be called the Sweetwater and the Calyx. Awesome. Um, so now though, we're gonna go to our other specialty, which is the 1930s, 1940s inlay patterns. Okay. So let me grab these boots off of you and I'm gonna put two more boots on you. And then we're gonna answer any more questions that you have. Have you always been a cowboy? Uh, <laughs> well, I've always dressed Western. I took, yes. That well, I, see what I look at is we always have the heart of a cowboy. I don't think you have to, was it the quote that Steve put of Dale Evans on, on being, like, it's, it's something inside. Right. Like, I've walked on concrete my whole life, but inside, yeah. I, I've, I've always been a cowgirl. Everything about me. I want to die watching the Mustangs run, <laughs> you know? Yeah, growing up, we, uh, we did have some land and some livestock, but we weren't ranching or anything. 
Yes. So I would, if you ask me. I yes. <laughs> yeah. So do you feel the difference in fit with the, the peewees? Do you feel how it's slightly bigger? Yeah, I do. That's because, Is that on purpose? It, no, it yeah. happens naturally because most, most of the time you have to get your whole foot through the, the shaft, the top yeah. of the boot. In a peewee, it's a little bit lower, so you have a little bit more room in the vamp, yeah. typically. So this, for people to know, a lot of our peewees, not all of them, but a lot of our peewees do, because it's that 1940s design, have the cowboy heel, because that's indicative of the time period. This is our Mojave Cactus Peewee. This one um, we do for men and women as well. It's a very 1940s design. It's Allie's second favorite boot to her little chief. We will never let, we, we cannot discount the little chief. Uh, so I've had the pair I have on right now for 12 years. This yeah. is them worn in. And it's it's one of my favorites. Oh yeah. I, I live in this guy. Cause I love the way it's the white just peeks through too when you have it on. Yeah. Yeah, it is really comfortable, but that red really just the tone will come yeah. through. And the, you know, the heel's a little taller, but it feels right. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's a little more ergonomically correct. Yeah, I find, like, I wear a lot of Stockman boots, but honestly, um, walking heels and cowboy heels are more comfortable mm -hmm. for me. Right, right. It takes a little bit for people to get used to the pitch sometimes. But, and, you know, it's like, I don't know, it just, it's arch support. And even though I have flat feet, right? it just, it kind of puts the arch back mm -hmm. in there. Which is nice. Yeah. Well, what's interesting, so something, and like you said, like after you've worn the peewee for a while, you don't feel like it's short. Yeah. So it's kind of like what we try and trick people and not in like trick people to buying a boot. Right. But so if someone comes in and says they're a size 11, well, our boots fit very different. So we take that 11 and then we know what boots they tell us what boots they want to try on, and we bring them the size mm -hmm. that we know is right for them. We don't tell them what it is because it's a preconceived notion. Right. The peewee, the higher heel, we don't tell them you're about to try on a higher heel. We right. let them put it on first, and if they ask us what's different, then we tell them. All right, so I'm going to give you a little tour of the shop here. Walk around with me and see what's up. There's Kimber opening up. We're opening up. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Heritage Boot. Here comes Delia. Hey, y'all. There's Allie. Allie. And what was your name again? I'm sorry. Delia. Delia. Yeah. She's the newest boot maven. Yeah. Come visit. Come see the newbies. Yeah, come meet her. <laughs> She's very impressionable. <laughs> Here's some of their tooled purses they have. Look very nice. My wife would go nuts over that. It's all hand tooled and hand laced. Might have to bring her up here. We try to only carry other things that are like our boots. Like for instance, the guy that makes our bandanas, mm -hmm. they're all hand cut, sewn, and discharge dyed. So okay. it's a lost art form really, you know, like yeah. same with the patches and the bolo ties and things that yeah, we all carry. The bolos look cool. Yeah, you gotta have one, right? Everybody yeah. needs a share of bolo tie in their life. That's right. <laughs> Those, those are sweet. Well, we're Maker Knives out of Matador, Texas. Matador, Texas. Well, Everybody needs a Bowie well, knife. Make the less we take. Uh, I can't tell you how many days I quote Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about that knife. Yeah. We had a couple that bought the matching set on Valentine's Day. <gasps> you know, nothing says love Where's like a axes? set of knives. <laughs> That's right. They, they have been out of their axes for so long. <laughs> I, I blame the axe throwing bars. You know, yeah, they make a great axe. So you guys see these ones in the bag here? Axe on, axe I'm off. currently trying not to, to take this home. Oh yes, you must uh, that one. I'm really trying not to take this boot home. And we keep it in the bag because it's $2,550 in 50 cents 50. Wow. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite boots in the house it's just so pretty yeah that is i'm a sucker for a white collar this, this is my this is my my goal that's your jam it's my jam 
But we keep white boots and fancy boots and, and plastic because the hand sanitizer right now is just been killing uh, us. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. It does. This one. Yeah, those, the zipper. Lights, 